Hey everybody, welcome to week six. It's the week we get to use of the second hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey everybody, welcome to week six and welcome to October. It's time to get out the Halloween decorations and I just bought this cool spider that's about yay big that I'm gonna put. You don't care about any of this, do you? So there is. So let's talk about the work then. Okay, first let's talk about grading. Get it? Grading? Ha ha ha. Anyway, uh, one of the things I forgot to mention when we were talking about grading for the last essay is that if a paper was short, get it short ha 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 uh then uh there was an automatic certain number of points off usually i go for about 10 percent and it's something that i've probably talked about before length is a marker of depth you write a two-page paper differently than you would 10 pages now if the paper it does everything it needs to do i'd be fine with whatever page length it is but almost inevitably if a paper is short there's something big that they're not doing so if you lost points on your last essay then this is because you turned in a short paper that's one of the things that you can really correct in the revision process secondly for the pre-writing i had a lot of people who turned in pre-writing that didn't follow the process of the video a couple people saw my comment revised it and then turned in the exact same thing, which didn't follow the process in the video. Please, people, let's follow the directions. I'm trying to teach you several different methods of pre-writing. So there's a purpose to going from one to one, and this is why I want you to follow them. The more tools you have in your toolbox, the better off you're going to do. Um, the other thing I'm going to have to do is institute what I call the half-assed rule. Now, there were a number, I'm teaching five sections of Comp 1, two of them are online, but amongst them all, there were a number of people who did the pre-writing essay and only had like five boxes or five circles more accurately on their paper, meaning that they didn't really do much of a job on it whatsoever. Now, you're not going to get benefit from a brainstorming activity if you don't actually try to brainstorm. I don't think I'm going to have to enforce this long because it's to your benefit to do the work. But if you turn in something which kind of shows that it was done with like three minutes to spare, I'm probably not going to give you credit for that one in the future. Um, the other thing about grading is there were a number of people who tried to do work on the peer review session after it was done for the profile essay. If that was you, the peer review session and the discussions we have are time sensitive, so doing them late really doesn't work. You can't enter a conversation when everyone else has left the room, and there's no point in giving a review of someone's draft when they've already turned in a revised version. It just doesn't help. So these things need to be done. If you have an issue with being sick, if you're one of the people this semester who've caught COVID, I know a few of you have, um, then talk to me. I can just not factor it in. But doing late work or when I tell you you didn't put your responses and then putting your responses three days later doesn't really help us there. Let's talk about the work we have coming up for this week. Now, first off, we have the technology narrative draft due this week. Into this week's folder, I put a document which goes over MLA paper setup and how to do it in Word. I put this in for the profile essay, but there were still people who didn't follow it. Uh, so make sure you're following this. Times New Roman, 12-point font, no extra spaces between paragraphs. Those are the big ones. Get the draft in. Um, due date is Friday at midnight, and I will do my best to get the things graded to you as soon as possible, as I did last time. And you will have time to revise this paper, too. In terms of the videos we have coming up for this week, we have one going over the Zarin discussion from last week, one on entering a debate. This is one of the general argumentative ones. And a video going over essay three, the basic parameters of the assignment. I won't go into too much here because, after all, I do have a video. But 
SA3 is an ethical analysis, so we're going to have to start engaging with the language of ethics. I've got two videos on it for this week. One is my basic overview of ethics, and with that I have an ethics glossary going over a basic ethical terminology. It's available as a PDF. And we have a very brief, I believe it's a TED Ed, uh, going over ethical dilemma, the burger murders, which will give you a practical understanding of what we're talking about when we're talking about ethics. In terms of the work, in addition to having the technology narrative essay, we have a sample student essay, animal rights. When you go over animal rights, it is one it is an essay that really needs to be reconstructed so don't just go over it looking for things that are wrong i want you to also be thinking in the back of your mind what would i do to fix this if it was up to me and when you uh, i would keep notes on that because the video going over animal rights next week is going to be very informative because it talks about organization and it talks about specificity and they're both things that this essay could really understand could really deal with we have the writing skills builder narrative too and we have carl sagan does truth matter gee i wonder if that one is relevant in today's world hmm so that's week six for us I'm sorry that I didn't have a bit of extra time between finishing the technology essay and when you had to start working on the ethics essay, but the schedule just kind of does that sometimes. Uh, don't forget that we do still have revision open on the profile essay and on the technology essay, and you'll also be able to revise the ethics essay when it's done. Otherwise, hope you have a great week. Hit me up via Remind if you have any questions at all, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you, everybody. Bye.